my sincere pranam to all of you. Welcome to the Now, in the process of introspection, um, in the last class, we saw how to analyze our thoughts. Now, let us move on to the next um, introspection topic, moralization of desire. Now, we all have desires, right? So without the desire, there's no life. Till the last moment, we'll have a desire. So that desire, that alone makes us to live. Um, so every one of us have countless desires and it arises every now and then. Um, but are they all fulfilled every? Always no, but all are not fulfilled. As a result, we feel disappointed. And sometimes we get frustrated also and we say, oh, the life is so miserable, whatever. I think it is not happening like that. So the main cause of this misery is that mind travels faster than the physical body. So the obvious solution is for mind to get itself adjusted to the pace, necessity and welfare of the body. Absence of this cooperation between mind and body leads to troubles in life. So here Magrishi gives us the process of moralization of desires. And that, that is a must for a qualitatively better, prosperous and healthy and peaceful life. One should put the questions whenever uh, the desire arises within us, right? As we did for the thought analysis, here again we have to put the question, what is the root of the desire? Is the desire good in itself? Can't I live without um, making it the desire, without the desire thing? Can I not live? What will be the result if I achieve the desire thing? Can't I live without such enjoyment or things? Why should I unnecessarily create an involvement? So like this, we have to question within ourselves whenever the desire arises. So every desire should be evaluated and subjected to the introspection. Actually, here Swamiji gives us six factors also. Um, where first, the desire comes. Then that has to be plan, approach, achievement, enjoyment, and assessment of benefits should be coordinated with one another. Okay. After all these six questions, suppose we feel that the desire is a must. Yes, I have to. There's no problem. It is a good one. The root cause is good and everything. You have to think about the other aspects also. The ability of doing, the environmental opportunity, sentimental feelings of the society and the law of nature. So we, all this to be checked and there, there should not be any conflict between the desired and the achievement. So let us draw a statement enlisting all our desires in serial number, take one by one and question like this. And uh, we should come to the conclusion and take a note of good desires and proposed methods of achievement. And write the planning also against each day, each of the item. And this introspection will make the mind calm, relaxed, lighter and peaceful. The mind in such a way, tranquil state becomes powerful, trim and alert. That is an asset in itself. So let us do our uh, introspection for our desires, which we can moralize in a better way and lead our life happily, peacefully. Thank you one and all for giving me this opportunity. Be blessed by the divine. Thank you, Amma.